So we managed to catch uh, Lawrence Chan, the group CEO of Nets at the floor of the Singapore FinTech Festival. Now, of course, uh, Nets is a payment service group operating Singapore's national debit scheme and of course the payments infrastructure as well. Lawrence, so, so great to bump into you. Um, talk to us about how Nets is shaping the future of Singapore's uh, payment infrastructure. Where does your focus lie? What are some exciting things that you guys are working on? Nets is really privileged to be able to to provide uh, payment acceptance at point of sale and also uh, for e-commerce online. Uh, our focus really is to give value to our merchants uh, so that we provide the right merchant solution so that they can they can embrace as many transactions as possible uh, and hopefully they can also be given the correct um, support from a payments reporting standpoint so that they can understand their, their business better. Sure, very cool. And of course, I think we're undergoing a payment renaissance right now. There's so much innovations, there's so much activities happening in the payment space. What's most exciting to you, Lawrence, in this space? Maybe two things, mm. very quickly. One, one I would say is, it's not really new, but it continues to change the way payment is done. And then mm. I would say is tokenization, mm. right? With tokenization, omni-channel payment, mm. whether it is offline, online, mm. um, as, as, as the merchant would like to sell, as the consumers would like to purchase. Uh, and the other thing is, as, as was announced yesterday, um, in terms of uh, purpose-bound money or mm. stable coins, uh, how, how digital currency will soon have an impact on all our lives and how Nets uh, can, can really support that mm. initiative in Singapore as well. And what an exciting project that is really future-looking stuff, very forward-looking stuff. Do you think um, a, a digital currency uh, future is, is near us or is it a little bit further ahead, you think? Well, it's near since it's present today in this in this yeah. uh, SFS. We can already use the digital Pretty currency. Cool style, right? yeah, yeah, so so it's real yeah. today. Yeah. Uh, when we will hit the masses, I, I and I think that's the role that Nets can play to help uh, support uh, this kind of initiative. Certainly something that we will keep an extreme close eye on. Uh, another thing that personally as a traveller I find exciting is the whole interoperable QR that's happening in ASEAN. You know, Nets were doing a lot of agreements here and there. How close are we to like uh, maybe ASEAN level interoperable QR where we can just pay everywhere? Today we are still very bilateral, mm -hmm. right? We work on a bilateral basis and I think bilateral does address the 80-20, mm -hmm. uh, right? The, the few markets that give us 80% of the volume where 80% of our consumers want to go and 80% of the consumers will, will come into Singapore. Mm -hmm. So I think today we're focusing on that 80-20. Um, the day it becomes interoperable, I, I, I'm sure we would want to be um, a keen player to, mm -hmm. to, to support that service. Certainly exciting times to look forward to. Lawrence, thank you for your time. Great chatting with you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.